Let's style the footer block itself first. On the tree panel, select the footer block. Go to the properties panel. Then go to the background section and for color, select gray 900. Go to the text selection. For color, select white. Now select the direct child of the footer, which will be our container block. Go to the Properties panel, click on Class Style Selector, and in the drop-down select Container. Let's add some padding top to this block. Enable Inline Classes, go to the Margin and Padding section. For padding top, select 20. Now select the next child div. Go to the properties panel. In the display section for display, select flex. Now go to the flex container section and for wrap, select wrap. Now select the four divs inside which have the main content. From the tree panel, select all four divs. For these, we should apply a column style first. Go to the Properties panel, click on the Class Style Selector, and in the drop-down, select Column. Now let's set a width for these columns for the responsive views. Select the first div. Don't forget to enable Inline. Then select Extra Large on Breakpoint tabs. Go to the Dimension section, for width, select 4 of 12. We'll need to add a gap on the sides as we will not be covering all 12 columns. Go to Margin and Padding. For Margin Right, select Auto. Now select the other three column divs as these will have the same classes. We're going to work on the extra large breakpoint and we've already selected it. Make sure inline is enabled. Go to the dimension section and for width, select two of 12. Now select small on the breakpoint tabs. For width, select four of 12. When you're done, select all on the breakpoint tabs. Now let's start working on the contents inside these columns. Go to the first column, select the logo image inside. Go to the properties panel, go to the dimension section, and for width, select 48. Go to the margin and padding section. For margin bottom, select 6. Next, select the P element. Go to the properties panel. Go to the Margin and Padding section, and for Margin Bottom, select 4. Go to the Text section. For Size, select Small. Next, we have a Div block, which contains two links, so we just need to add Margin Bottom to this. Select the Div block. Go to the Properties panel. In the Margin and Padding section, for margin bottom, select 4. Now let's work on the links inside. We need to add hover effects to each of these. Select both the links and go to the Properties panel. On the Pseudo State selector, select Hover. In the Text section, for color, select Indigo 200. Now reset the Pseudo State selector to None. I want to add this hover effect to all our other links in the footer section, so let's create a class style for this. Click on the Create New Style button, type Footer Link, and click OK. Now we've created a footer link style, and we'll use this for other links later. Now let's move on to the next div, which contains links with our social icons. Select all three link elements. Now let's apply the footer link style to these links. Go to the Properties panel. Click on 
Class Style Selector, and in the drop-down, select Footer Link. Now for these social links, we need to add more classes than the base footer link style. Enable Inline. In the text section, for size, select XL. In the margin and padding section, for margin right, select 2. Now we're done with this, let's move on to the other three columns. These three columns have similar content one title text, and a list block which contains links. Select the first H4 title text. Go to the Properties panel. Go to the Text section and for Size, select Large. For Color, select Gray 400. For Width, select Medium. For Transform, select Uppercase. Now go to the Margin and Padding section. For Margin Bottom, select 8. We have two more title text on the other columns, so let's create a class style for this. Click on the Create New Class Style. Then in the Input field, enter Footer Title and press Enter. Now let's apply this to the other two title texts. Select the H4 title text in the other two columns. Click on Class Style Selector, and in the drop-down, select Footer Title. Now the title texts are done. Let's work on the links. We need to add hover effects to the links, and also we need spacing between the links. First, select the List Blocks, LI, on all three columns. Go to the Properties panel. Now go to the Margin and Padding section. And for Margin Bottom, select 4. We're done with the spacing. For the hover effects, we already have the footer link style. Select the links in all three columns. Go to the Properties panel. Click on the Class Style Selector. In the drop-down, select Footer Link. We've applied styles to the links. Now if you need any changes to the links in the footer section, you can easily adjust them from just one place. Now we're almost to the end of our tutorial. At the end, we have a Copyright section, so let's work on this. Select the last div block, which has the copyright content. Go to the Properties panel. For Margin and Padding, enable the equal sign in the center. For Padding, select 4. Now go to the Text section. For Align, select Center. Next, select the HR element inside. Go to the Properties panel. For Margin and Padding, Add a margin bottom of 4. Now go to the display section. For opacity, select 25. Now for the last P element, let's make it a little smaller. Select the P element, go to the properties panel, go to the text section, and for size, select small. Now we've completed building a landing page using Tailwind CSS with the PineGrow Web Editor. Check the page if you've something missing or if you need to work on the responsive views. With the help of our new Tailwind Visual Editor, it makes it very easy to build and manage projects with the Tailwind CSS. This concludes the tutorial. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via email or through the Pine Grove Forum. We will be coming up with more videos related to the Tailwind CSS and other Pine Grove related content, so keep watching and following. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next video.